everyone welcome back to the channel if you're uh, new to the channel please make sure to like subscribe follow hit the notification button whenever I post new videos but uh welcome back guys uh, ain't posted much here lately because uh, here in North Carolina it has done nothing but rain uh, every fishing stream we go to is flooded timber everywhere it's been really cold but uh last week it was in the 30s today here in North Carolina it's 70 so it's a little warm so uh, this summer I plan on doing some nighttime fishing so I'm wanting to add some exterior and interior lights to my boat so that's what we're gonna do today while we got this nice weather we'll take advantage of it so stick around guys so my plan is <clears throat> I've got some green LED lights that I'm gonna put around the exterior under the gunnel right on here and I've got some white lights we're gonna run around the inside underneath the gunnel then I've got some I'm going to also mount down on the floor under both compartments on the passenger and driver's side of the boat. Then also I'm going to be mounting <clears throat> some lights in my storage compartment. There'll be some, there'll be one mounted up under here. And then there'll be one in my rod locker. Then I'm going to also put another one over in this storage area. And then there'll also be a light inside of my live well that way we're out nighttime fishing we can see good all right guys let me show you a little bit of stuff that i got here uh, bought some marine grade 10 gauge wire bought some 16 gauge insulated wire i've got eight 12 inch led light strips i've got two rolls of white leds for the interior i got two rolls of green leds for exterior and uh I see a lot of guys post there's a little channel thing that you can get at Lowe's that goes between like carpet and linoleum and hardwoods so uh, that they'll stick their LEDs to on the carpet so I decided to just design my own little pieces here design those got them powder coated at work and the plan is I'm going to let's see I'll take this little fancy I also designed a little cup holder tackle tray that's going to be fastened that mount right here in my boat and then on the interior I'll be mounting the track like here like so that'll be where my LED will go that's for that also <clears throat> I don't know about the other people's boats but um, these tracker boats the fuse block the way it's located it's kind of a pain to get to let's see this little fuse panel in here once you remove the cover it's kind of hard to get air fish wires and all that to it so i uh bought me another fuse block let's see get this out of the box hold on a second there we go so i bought me another fuse block that i'm going to be mounting up under the dash that way for all my exterior lights and stuff that I add to the boat will be conveniently easy to get to and accessible if something ever happens a fuse so say I'll be running a new set of wires from my battery all the way around up under the channel pull all this off will run up tuck it run it in nice and neat so everything should look nice and clean mounted and factory I'll show you another little thing that I've got made so I bought Let's see, get this here. I'm saying, look online, do research. Um, there's a lot of good Facebook groups and members and uh, forums you can ask questions. I mean, like I say, I'm learning, this all stuff new to me. Get on there and ask other people what they've done, learned, what they did like, didn't like, things they would change on theirs. And just take all that in consideration for you to your boat. That way you can know make it suit what you need and don't make mistakes others have so a little tip so anyway I bought this little switch plate off Amazon just little waterproof lights so I was gonna make me a bracket to mount it because I was trying to figure out on the dash and I didn't really have any good place so I say about making me a little bracket to mount it in this little area here so what I ended up doing I made a whole plate even got a dimmer switch because I've seen a lot of guys one of the things you'll see they'll talk about is your interior lights you need to be able to dim them because at nighttime they blind you so it made me a bracket 
It'll actually fasten down right here. It'll fit like a glove. I'll mount my switches here. Have my dimmer switch. It's going to look sweet. It's going to fit like a glove. So I'll pull these switches out and uh, I'll mount those in there. Say the switch panel comes with five. I only need four. But I'm going to have a backup extra. So I'm going to put my exterior lights on one switch. My interior lights will be on a switch. And then I will have um, my storage compartment and live well lights. They'll be on their own switch. So I actually have an extra switch that's empty for accessories later on. But the dimmer switch that I bought has actually an on-off position and it's dimmable. So that way we can control the lights at night. Another little trick that I was watching, you know, YouTube, gotta love YouTube, is uh, find you a cheap, you know, little 12 volt battery. That way you can take your battery and your lights and go around your boat, move your lights, figure out exactly where you want to mount them before you take go through the hassle of mounting them and all of that, and place them exactly and get them where you get the most benefit of your lights. So the plan is for my exterior lights, they're green, gotta go with the green. They're gonna run right under the right underneath the gunnel all the way up. And I was originally gonna mount and run the holes through the back, but then I got to looking, something you need to take a think about. And whenever you go to drill a hole, is can you get to the inside of where these things go to? And the way this, my 170 boat is, let me open this up, there's a wall inside. So if I was to drill a hole over here, I ain't no way of fishing that wire to where I need to get to. Plus, the back's more prone to water, being in the water and all that. So the plan is I'm going to run them all the way to the front. I'm going to poke a hole through right under here. I can reach my hand. Once I pull the little trim plate off, I can stick my hand under, fish my wires through. Because I've done the same thing with my navigation lights. Put them on the front. Put me a hole for my wire. Filled off with marine grade silicone. Had zero issues with that. So I'm going to do the same thing with my other lights. I'm going to run them up. Drew me a little hole run the wire through, fish it for my exterior lights. Then the same for my interior lights. They'll be run underneath the gunnel, shining down on the carpet. But I'm gonna take the wires for it. They'll go straight in through here and I'll remove the panel here and they'll be tucked under there nice and clean. So, next step, let's start cleaning out all these compartments. I'm going to remove my seats to get them out of the way clean everything out of the way because like I say I won't be able to get here and get work get it done run my wires nice and neat get everything tucked away and make it look good I want to do this one time and be done so I don't have issues be out there on the lake not working and all that so I got a like I say I got some wire got my end connectors I got some solder seal connectors marine grade heat shrink some silicone got some wire loom cover if we need to hide wires hide zip ties we got some alcohol for cleaning the surface rag for cleaning everything get it clean we got a heat gun so we got everything ready and of course need a monster need a little fuel to get going this morning guys stick around like i say i'm gonna start working on this start taking stuff out i'll be back all right guys got got all the seats off Got all my storage compartments cleaned out, rods out of the rod locker, everything's cleaned out. Um, one thing I am going to do while I got this all apart, I'm going to be pulling my foot tray out that I made. And uh, I noticed that a couple days when I was fishing, that my trolling motor wire wants to rest right here in this little area. So I made me a new revision to it. So we're going to, while I got it all apart, we'll swap it out. I got to cut out here now for my wires and change it up a little bit. So uh, while I got it all apart, I will be swapping out and putting this guy in place also all right guys up first i'm going to be running the 10 gauge wire from my battery will come up through here around i've uh <clears throat> i've removed all the covers here so we'll run the wire down through here dangle it down we'll run up under the console tuck out and come down up under the up under here somewhere and i'm going to mount my new fuse block up under there so First I need power to it before I can hook up the lights, so we'll tackle it first thing. Stick around. Alright guys, I got my wire run down through, pulled, got me a little slack, got my ends crimped on, heat shrink on there. I got it fished around under the motor. 
plan is I'm just gonna run it with this whole bundle of wire all the way around, keep it tucked. Got it fished through here, coming out through the cup holder. Next, I'll be drilling a hole in the bottom, figuring out where I'm gonna mount the uh, the new fuse block. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and mount my LED in my live well. Um, like I say it's gonna be mounted up under the lip right in here. I'm gonna go ahead and get it mounted, the wire run for it, while I'm back here messing around in the back of the boat. Get all go ahead and get everything in the back buttoned up. Stick around. All right, guys. So like I said before, it comes in handy having a little 12 volt battery. Um, my original plan was I bought this 12 inch LED strip light and after hooking it to my battery, I was gonna mount it under the live wheel here. And then I got to look and I was like, well it'd make more sense, I think to have it under the lid. So when I raise my live wheel, lays this up, it's shining down into the live wheel. So having this little strip, that'd be all right, but the lighting I bought for from around the interior of my boat, when I get on the, you know, the passenger side or whatever, I mean driver's side, I'm only going to need from the front to right here to the console. So it's only, what, maybe 7 foot, and it's rolled 16 foot. So what I'm going to do is take and cut me a whole strip of this and run it from one side all the way across, a whole LED strip. So that thing will light that live well up. I got my hole drilled through the live well. Yeah, I drilled a hole, but I say we'll fill it up, dope it up with silicone. But what I did is actually took my uh, calipers and measured the wire and found a drill bit that's the same size as the wire. So it's real snug coming through, but I'm still going to go back and uh, dab silicone on both sides, front and back, just to make sure that's good and tight and don't leak. But uh, let's keep going, boys. All right, guys, so I was working on wiring up my uh, LED light here in the live well and these solder seal connectors I bought they they don't really fit good on the wire I have run to the LEDs and the LED light wire is so tiny I just I don't know it ain't a good connection I feel so what I've done is broke out my soldering iron and just actually gonna solder the wires together heat shrink these two heat, heat shrink them over and then I have a big piece of heat shrink slid down here I'll slide over the whole thing and all will be watertight and last hopefully forever all right guys so I got let's see got my LED mounted on the tool the uh, live well got my wire secured here a little adhesive strip a zip tie here wire goes down through the live well I say I'm coming back and silicone and everything once I get finished with everything but that comes through the live well into the back part compartment I got the wire run up just in front of the fuel cell and I've got it run across where all the other wire comes out at run up through the little passage hole through the back of the boat the wires coming around the back got everything nice secured zip tied back up everything's tucked back in put the cover back on right here so as far as getting power to up front for the new fuse panel we're good there i got my wires pulled for the led and the live well so next i'm going to start mounting my lights interior under each the driver and passenger compartment i'll go ahead and mount my the new little cup holder compartment tray i have over here mount the, for the strip there i'll go ahead and mount my piece for my strip in here and my one for my live wheel so stick around all right guys i got my bracket mounted here got the bracket mounted for the led light inside that compartment I got one mounted for passenger, one for driver. I got a compartment, I mean a, a bracket on both sides of the rod locker. One on that side and one on this side. And also have the bracket mounted in the other storage compartment. So now I'm laying out my LED lights, getting ready to get those mounted and wires run for those around to the console. So stick around. All right, guys, so I've finally managed. I got my LED mounted in here. Got my wires run, drill a hole. The wires actually run under underneath here, so they're hidden. I run these LEDs. I run the wire back through down in the corner over here, so it's all hidden. Mounted one here, same thing, drilled in. Took my wire and hit it. I connected all four LEDs up under here. Hopefully you can see that. And run my power out from here through the corner of 
the box into the console and I have since pulled the wires from the live weld together hooked them up to just my switch just for temporarily and I also got the new fuse block mounted but let's see we have lights boys so I have interior light in here for night rod locker be lit up we have lights for this cargo check this out that live well is lit up man it's gonna be fun this summer fishing well on to the next project I think that'll be the interior lights I've got those mounted up under here the wires drilled I've got wire pulled across I'm gonna make my connection under here same thing got one under here I'll run it up and then I'm gonna run my LED strip lights around inside the gunnel part of the boat so stick around on all these really small wires I mean hell it's like 22 gauge I don't know really really thin wires um, instead of trying to use like butt connectors this and that I've just been Honestly, I brought my solder and iron out here. I used to be real big into remote control cars, but uh, still got my solder and iron and stuff. So I brought my solder and iron out here. I've just been soldering all my connections together just to reassure they never come apart. And been using marine grade uh, heat shrink over top of them, keep them watertight. So hopefully this will uh, be a one and done, lasts forever. Well, guys, as you can see, it's gotten dark. It's about let's see, almost 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> I did finally get around to finishing this today. Um, I worked on it off and on. My GoPro died, so I didn't get to film all of the final install. But I did get the LED interior lights run under the uh, edge of the gunnel. Up under here. Run the wires up to the front. Run them in. Tuck them in up under this little kick plate thing right here. I guess you call it. Um, installed the new bracket over top of my uh, foot control. That way my wires got room now to bend up a little further. Um, I did get the exterior lights run, drilled a hole, caulked it, and said filled it full of marine grade silicone. So now the exciting part. Show you what it looks like. Man, this thing looks good. Hold on get rid of these lights all right bear with me a minute guys let's see here's our interior lights they are on a dimmer switch so we can control how bright we want them while we're out fishing got those and I got the two in the compartments also so we can see our gear while we're out fishing at night And then, look at that. Don't that look good? Fish with a green wrap on the side, it just reflects like crazy. Here, let's get up inside the boat and show you the storage compartment lights. So I have my control switches over here. I got my LED light over here. This storage bin. Rod lockers lit up so you can see our fishing rods at night. We have this storage compartment lit up. Check out this live well guys. You'll be able to see them fish really good. Could not be more pleased with the way this came out. Come out awesome. Like I said, guys, could not be more excited the way this came out. Got my little switch thing I built made right here, mounted. Dimmer switch. I'm only using actually two switches, so I got two more switches if I ever need to add anything else. I bought me some of these little uh, tackle organizers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, last time I was down at Bass Pro, and uh, 
been meaning to put them on so whenever I have somebody fishing in the back with me mounted that so they can store keep their stuff there and I did also manage to mount whenever there somebody else is fishing with me I mounted a rod strap back here to help hold their rods down too so all in all very fun very challenging a little bit run all the wires and hide everything just to keep it tucked and nice I say I don't want a big mess so and that's it guys like I say do your research on all your stuff brands uh, things like that like I said because all the stuff I got for this project I was about 150 bucks in for the wire the lights and everything I was looking online at other places like three four hundred bucks for all the supplies and you can look up the names see what they sell and we like say get on Google and stuff and find the same brand but find it other places cheaper so shop around I mean like I say I ain't trying to spend a fortune in it and uh, but still use quality parts so thank you again guys like I say and if you will please like and uh, subscribe and follow my channel and hopefully there'll be some more projects soon thank you